We are Central. Barhorst. I'm the CEO of Essential. Been around here about 27 years. I founded and started this place. Well, you know, it's an interesting because I, I never thought I would be in the insurance business. I uh, graduated from Texas A&M with a degree in industrial distribution. Worked for the 85th largest company in the world. Um, covered seven states. Uh, had about 60 distributors I was working with and uh, traveled about seven days a week uh, trying to manage that operation. And uh, the, the problem that I found in that space was that uh, they tend to, big corporations tend to change your, your compensation plan every time uh, something goes good for you. So you'd, you'd meet an objective and then they would change the comp plan. And I got pretty frustrated with that and, and uh, over time I just uh, got more and more frustrated and, and I never thought I'd be in the insurance business but my, my father-in-law called me one, one Sunday and said, hey, um, I switch my insurance from from State Farm to, to Nationwide and I think there's an employment opportunity for you with Nationwide Insurance. So he gave me a guy's phone number, I called the guy and, and uh, I didn't, uh, the guy said fax me your resume. And you, most people don't understand this, but back then you didn't fax your resume, you actually made your resume a little bigger than the other resumes. You, you put it on really nice paper, you might have put some perfume on it, you did something so it would stick out in the, in the stack of, 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 of papers when it, when it went to somewhere. So I did nothing with that. A few months later, uh, sure enough, the company changed my comp plan again. I was frustrated. I stopped at a, an ATM machine to get some money and there was a nationwide office inside the bank building. I went inside, asked the guy, how do you go to work for this company? He said, give me your resume and I'll give it to the right person. So I went home, typed up a resume, gave it to that guy. A few months later, a fella called me and said, uh, I'm just curious. Uh, you live in Jersey Village? I said, yes, sir. He said, you played football at Jersey Village? I said, yes, sir. He said, you played football at Texas A&M? I said, yes, sir. He said, we're looking for an insurance agent in Jersey Village, and we're pretty sure you're the guy. So, you know, the, the rest is, is history from that perspective. So we took that um, pretty quickly. Uh, I figured out I wasn't any good at the insurance business. Um, to, uh, you know, I'd never sold an insurance policy, never done anything, and you know, this guy showed up through five file boxes in my front door and said, go get them. And I had to figure out how to do an insurance file, how to sell a policy, how to issue a policy, all those different things. It took me about three years to figure that out. At the same time, I figured out that um, it's not any fun. Uh, I mean, you, you end up just making ID card changes and doing a lot of work on those policies. And I went home and told my wife, I think we made a big mistake starting this business. I think we should, should go back to corporate America. My name is Lisa Barhorst. I am the Chief Operating Officer here at Essential, and I've been with Essential since its inception 25 years ago. We believe in insurance. We think we are serving a noble you know, business. We're helping people. We're educating them. And we think that it's very important what we do. And so it's just, it's, our whole life is centered around it. And she said, you know, what if we did it differently? What if we did something different than, than the typical state farm agent, or the typical Allstate agent, or the typical nationwide agent, or the typical farmer's agent, which is kind of how all those models work. And so we decided to, to start hiring employees. We want people to enjoy being here, to embrace our culture um, and our values. We think they spend a lot of time with their work family. We want it to be a positive experience for them as well as our customers. Uh, maybe that's the same in other places, but we do, you know, we really talk about our culture and how important it is to us and living all those core values on a day-to-day -day basis and how we treat each other and our customers. It's, you know, it's our life. Um, we don't leave it at the door when we go home at the end of the day. Um, we don't leave it in Houston when we travel for a vacation. We believe in insurance. We think we are serving a noble business. And uh, that's why Essential is pretty much different than most places. We've, today there's uh, over 128 people working here. We have more than a thousand years of combined insurance experience in our operation. And, and uh, you know, I built this place on the idea of making it someplace where I would want to work. And um, doing that is not easy to do. It's kind of like the stock market. You know, the market goes up and down every time you get a, a chance, if something happens in the marketplace or whatever. We've done that, but I've stuck to that 
to that constitution the whole time trying to make sure that it's a great place to work or a place that I would want to work. And um, you know, just like the stock market also, it gets a little better over time and eventually it's better in the, in the long run. So you know, how do we do that for our people? Um, my motto is to make them more employable. And if I can make you more employable as a, as a teammate of mine, I either have to pay you more money or you can go somewhere else and make more money. It's okay if you leave. I had a job before I came here. If you, you're gonna go somewhere, it's great. As long as you leave professionally, it's great for everybody involved. Um, I think at Essential we're different for a lot of reasons. And I think it's, it's probably the purpose uh, of our business. Most people don't understand the concept of insurance. Uh, they, they, they know what they're buying because they buy an insurance policy, but the reality is we're the only people who show up uh, in your time of need. So people don't think of it this way, and it, it might be a little morbid to, to, to discuss it, but when somebody passes away, the undertaker, the, the preacher, everyone that's there for you actually asks for money. They have their hand out. When your house burns, the fire department charges you $500 for a service charge because they came and put your house out. A contractor holds his hand out, asks for money to repair your house. When you wreck your car, the body shop wants money to repair your car. We're the only people who show up with a check. You know, so, and it's a magical instrument because you can pay a little bit of money for insurance, 100 bucks a month, 200 bucks a month, and it might pay you $100,000 or $200,000 or a million dollars in your time of need. And, that purpose, fundamental purpose, is what makes us different. You know, the word essential is an, in, an, in, an interesting concept. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out uh, to, to, to make a brand that made sense. When we first started, um, as an entrepreneur, you want to put your name on things. You, we all know this when we, we look at entrepreneurs, they name the business after themselves. And I was no different. I was so proud to put my name, Warren E. Barhorst, on the door of our, our business when we first opened it. Pretty quickly, though, I figured out that that's not a good thing because everyone calls and asks for Warren E. Barhorst. And if someone's using my middle initial, it probably means they don't know me, right? So most people call me Helmet Head or, or uh, Big Head or something like that because my head's so dang giant. But uh, um, you know, so Warren E. Barhorst, you know, that, that mer merged or, or morphed pretty quickly into Barhorst Agency, which my wife Lisa has been an integral part of our operation since the day we started it. So that meant half the phone calls were split between us now, so my life was a little better. And then later I changed it to uh, Bar Horse Insurance Group, which was an amalgamation of a bunch of agents that worked here at the, at the time. And then that didn't work too, too good though, because the word Bar Horse Insurance Group, the acronym became big. And we didn't want to be seen as big. We wanted to be seen as approachable, as, as essential, you know, as part of people's uh, life. So we believe that we're essential to, to, to our clients, you know, absolutely essential to be there in their time of need. You know, I think what a customer could expect from us is to be there in their time in their in, in their time of need, and you know I, I say this all the time: if we make a mistake, we want to make it right. We're not perfect; we're humans. There's a lot of transactions going on, a lot of um, a work that has to be done to keep a person's policy up to date and, and accurate. And when we make a, a mistake, we step up and uh, and own up to it and try to make it right for our clients.